hope you are doing so very well. It is Friday morning, I have the day off, and I am making the most of it. So I hope you are making the most of your day as well. Um, it's going to be a pretty low-key day. I already got my workout in. It's around 11 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and what is going on today is I am heading off to the mall because there's a bunch of things I want to pick up at Sephora, which of course I'll share with all of you. And then at one o'clock, I am going to go get my eyebrows done as well as get them tinted just a hair darker. The reason I haven't gotten to the microblading is because when my appointment actually was, um, that is when my grandfather passed away. So I ended up missing my microblading appointment and she is booked out now until October. So my appointment is now in October because I had to reschedule with her. So I'm just waiting it out. But uh, yeah, so I'm going in doing that today. And then who knows what else we'll get into. But I do have to share something with you. And right now I'm at a stop sign and there's literally no one around. So let me see if I can do this real quick. So I went to my P.O. box and I had this card. This is Dream Big, Work Hard, Stay Focused. And I flipped it over and it was from Christy and Jenny um, from the Start Planner. And they wrote me a note that said, you are totally crushing it on your YouTube channel. Just wanted to drop a note to say thank you for your support and we are cheering for you. How cool is that? Um, I'm super flattered. I love their planner. You guys know how much I love it. And so many of you have picked it up because I've told you how much I love it. And I'm so excited that this weekend I will be bringing you a plan with me video featuring the Start Planner and so many of you have asked about it. So that is coming this weekend, stay tuned. So I actually just came home. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's not really showing up yet. I. If you see, I have like a goose egg right here and it's starting to bruise. I cracked my head off my car door. It is so <laughs> sore and it's all raised up. I'm gonna put some ice on it, but I actually called and just canceled my eyebrow appointment because the last thing I want her to do is like be pressing down on my forehead to like wax my eyebrows. Oh, it hurts. But on a bright note, I got everything I needed at Sephora and right in time for, as you can see how dark it is at 11 o'clock in the afternoon because it's about to downpour. Um, all right, I'm gonna go put some ice on this. I'll show you what I got at Sephora in a minute. Um, I wanna go ahead and show you what I picked up at Sephora. It's a small bag, but I got a decent amount of stuff. So the first thing I picked up was a fragrance called Book. How great is that? Um, Book by the brand Commodity. It is sandalwood, cucumber, bergamot, um, and it is amazing. I don't want to really put it on because I already have some things on, but you have to take the cap off first. It is really good. I like it a lot. Um, I decided to go with this smaller one to make sure I really like it, um, but I think it's going to be a big time winner. You should definitely go to Sephora and smell it. It is so good. The cucumber and sandalwood seem like a weird combination, but oh, it's pretty much perfect. Next, let's talk about the brand Milk because I picked up three things from them. The first thing I picked up was the sunshine oil. Um, it is a moisturizing oil for your face, although it does say you can use it on your whole body. Um, it comes in like this little great applicator where you press this once it comes out on the roller ball um, and it's just a hydrating oil excited to give it a try it's supposed to make your skin look really radiant the next thing I bought was the milk face gloss um, I love the Glossier Moonstone Halo stick but this is supposed to like give your skin like a really great like sheen and healthy glow to it I don't know if it picks up on camera. It feels a little sticky, but I'm willing to give it a try. The next thing I picked up from Milk is the um, cooling water. This is for under your eyes. It's supposed to be really help with like depuffing. Oh my gosh, it feels really cold. How do they do that? It's really cold. Oh, that's neat. Um, but you rub it on under your eyes, helps with depuffing. 
It's called Cooling Water, uh, and it's <laughs> really cold. I don't know why I'm like so like in awe about that, but that's really neat. Then lastly, I picked up the matcha cleanser. Basically, get your face wet, you put this over it, and then rinse it off. I also picked up from Tarte in their new skincare line, I picked up the Friction Stick, and it is a exfoliating face scrub. Um, I wanted to give this a try, and it's just um, applied directly to damp skin along the forehead, nose, cheeks, and chin using fingertips gently, massage it in, and then rinse thoroughly. Um, but it's just a really gentle exfoliating facial cleanser. And last, what I picked up is the Fresh Umbrian Clay Purifying Treatment Bar. You make your face damp, you make the bar damp, you apply it straight to your face, you let it sit on for about five minutes and then rinse it off. It's supposed to be great. I actually watched a vlog of Estee Lalonde where she went to this town with Fresh and like saw how they like made it and showed um, within the vlog like them finding the clay and all of that. So it was really interesting and I knew from watching the vlog that I wanted to give it a try. So I am excited to do so. And I can't figure out for the life of me how to get it open, so I'll do that later. Um, just so you guys know, the rollerball of that fragrance was $26. The face gloss from Milk was $20. The sunshine oil was $38. The cooling water is $24. The Tarte Friction Stick is $22. The Umbrian Clay Mask um, Bar is $40. And then the Milk Matcha Cleanser was $26. Altogether, I spent $210. Um, but it was a lot of things that have been on my list for a while, so I'm excited to have them in my skincare collection. I'm excited to use this stuff. I will definitely keep you guys posted on all of them. If you have questions about anything, please ask. Um, all right, I'm going to hop off here and go ahead and get some lunch in me and probably ice my forehead again. All right, so I just got a delivery that I thought I would share with you. I've had several brands reach out to me around um, like sponsorships and collaborations, and I've turned everything down thus far. Um, but then Care Of actually reached out to me, and they said, like, we think this is a great fit. And I was actually already familiar with them, and it is a vitamin company that you take a survey and they tailor make your vitamins for you. Um, I'm going to scoot over and put a little image up here so you can see what the interface of the website looks like when you're taking the survey. It's really, really cool. It asks you really great questions and they tailor make you vitamin packets um, based off of all the information that you share. And they have sent me a one month supply for me to try. And after this one month of using these vitamins is up, I'm going to do a full review on them, but I thought I would share the unboxing of my custom vitamins. What's really cool of Care Of is when we were going back and forth via email, I asked if I could get something for the subscribers as well. Um, so they have given me a 50% discount code for your first set of vitamins. I'm going to leave it down below. It's Christopher50. You can use it as your coupon code when you check out. Um, if it's something you're interested in, but I'm going to go ahead and unbox my first set of vitamins. When you get it, it actually says, made for Christopher, and it says, thank you, the vitamin Al is sprawling and overwhelming. The internet is a wide expanse of viral panda videos. The world is a noisy and wonderful busy place. In the midst of it all, you found us. Wow, we appreciate it. Actually, you found me. Um, that's really cool. And then there's just like a let's get started and you get this little cute box that has your vitamins all in it and they're all individually packaged. The package says made for Christopher. Um, so my four vitamins are in there. Um, and what's really great about these is when I'm traveling, I can just grab my vitamin packet and take it with me. So that is really, really wonderful. In the back of your box is all the information for the vitamins that you are taking. Um, I have rhodiola, a vitamin D, a probiotic, and ashwagandha, um, which is like a restorative um, herb. 
to help me because I really wanted it to like help relax me after some of these workouts. You take them with your first meal of the day, which will be breakfast for me. And I just think it is a really cool company. I'm really excited to be working with them and I'm so excited to share with you what I think about these vitamins and how I feel different at the end of the month. Like I said, if you're interested now and wanna check it out on your own, there's that discount code, but know that in a month after using all of these, I'm going to be touching base with you and telling you what I think about Care Of. But I just had to share it with you guys. I'm super excited about it. It aligns so well with what um, my channel is all about and that is taking care of yourself um, so that you're better to take care of others. And I think taking vitamins every day is a great way to take care of yourself. So, care of, I'll keep you posted. I was going to film like a really like formal um, pantry organization video. I shot all the B-roll for it and edited it, but then I realized that like, it'd be easier for me to just walk you through my pantry in a vlog. I have this amazing llama picture across from my pantry, and then this amazing llama paper on my wall. All of you freaked out about my llama wallpaper in my pantry, and don't freak out. This treatment on my wall cost me $4.99. I bought one roll of wrapping paper um, from Home Goods. I already had some double-sided tape here, um, and I just put wrapping paper on my wall. That's all I did. It is just wrapping paper. I had to remove the shelves completely. Um, the shelves work to really like hold it down and keep it tight. I put double-sided tape. I'm not worried about it hurting the wall. It's in our pantry. I wouldn't recommend doing that on like other surfaces because I don't know how much it'll damage the plaster. So take that with a grain of salt. But literally gang, all I used was a wrapping paper and it looks so amazing. All right, so let me talk you through how I organize my pantry. Obviously, I just get these canisters at Target. They're super cheap. I just keep my whole wheat flour, my sugar, and I have some brown cane sugar and white sugar mixed in this right now. Um, and then just my all-purpose flour. And then I just keep the cookbooks that I reach for the most on my top shelf, all the rest are in storage. And then any fun magazine recipe I find, I store in a magazine holder because it just looks a lot neater. Then I just have my meal prep baskets. I'm going to leave my video down below in the description box how I use my meal prep baskets. As you can see, we only meal prep Monday through Friday um, and we're having pizza tonight. It's super low calorie and super simple. Below my baskets, I keep all of my containers that have like random things. I find as soon as you put something in its own container, it just looks so much cleaner. So like, I like to streamline all of those things and keep them under the same container. And I just checked online. These containers are the Martha Stewart line from Macy's and they're all on sale right now. And like reasonably on sale, like under $12 for sets of them. So I am actually thinking of going and buying some this weekend, but I just have like my cocoa powder, my baking powder, my brown sugar, coconut flour, almond meal, powdered sugar. I mixed even put a cereal in containers because it just looks so much nicer. Then we'll just continue on this side. I have all of like my random baking stuff, like baking mixes, waffle mixes, um, I just put all of those things in one big container. These are all from Target. I keep all my oils and vinegars in this one, as well as like syrups and honey. All our nut butters in this, then just my smoothie powders. It is just Steven and I, and I get it that people have children and large families, but I have a rule. I have these containers, they are marked. If it doesn't fit in the container, I don't buy it. Um, or I don't store it. I'll show you how I set up my bins. You could get these at the dollar store, anywhere. I picked these up at Target like forever ago, probably like two years when we moved in. Um, I keep two containers for canned goods. Now, oftentimes you're like, oh my goodness, that would never hold enough. Many times my canned goods go straight to my meal prep baskets that I buy during grocery shopping. This is just like overflow. So things that I always have in here are like crushed tomatoes and like, tomato sauce and pumpkin and some vegetables. Then here I keep some side dishes. I keep those in two bins. These are anything I can pull out to use as a side. So I have some like 
quinoa blends and some, this is my favorite brand of like brown rice, um, it's Tilda. And I have some risotto and some couscous. Anything that I could use as a side goes into my side bins. Like I said, so often things get in my meal prep baskets. Then I have a bin for nuts. Then I have things for soups. Right now I have like a Giada minestrone soup, Trader Joe's lentil soups um, in there. And then I have two snack bins. You guys know how I love the RX bars. I have some um, popcorn kernels, some Skinny Girl popcorn, some rice cakes. Oh, gang. These are the best things ever. They're by the brand Hungry Buddha, and they are coconut chips, and they are so delicious. Then in the other snack bin, we have some raisins, some Laura bars, some Triscuits, some more rice cakes, some pretzel crisps. Super simple. Then I just keep all of our like cereals and um, oatmeals and still cut oats and cream of wheat in one. And then I also just keep all of our pastas that we have that are on hand in this bin, as well as one of those Martha Stewart spaghetti holders from Macy's. And then I do have this big metal bin um, that holds all of our bread. I also set up really cute cookbooks and just make it a little decorative. Um, but that's how I organize my pantry. I find if you have the meal prep baskets, you don't need this overflowing of things within your pantry because so many things go straight to those right away that those bins are more than enough for us. Um, the only time that I would say we have overflow is during the holidays when we have company. Over on this side of my pantry, I have this whiteboard um, that I picked up at Home Goods for $19.99. It was super reasonable. And this is where I plan out our meals Monday through Friday. Um, that's what we had. The Buddha bowls you guys loved over on Instagram. They were delicious. That's what I had for lunch today. We had leftovers. And then down below, I just keep a running list of things that I need to pick up next. And then if you were watching uh, a vlog from last week, you know that when I'm cleaning, things that I still need to get to um, go on this side of my pantry. So, and then I have a clipboard here that usually has a piece of paper where I can make lists. So gang, that is how I organize my pantry. And by containing everything into to containers, it just looks so neat. But yeah, that llama paper that everyone loves is just wrapping paper from Home Goods, $4.99, my friends. I'm actually thinking of doing that in one of our bathrooms, one of the guest bathrooms as well. Um, not the llamas, but a different wrapping paper. Let me show you where else I have applied the Home Goods wrapping paper trick. So in my big cabinet, across from my breakfast nook. I have this black and white wrapping paper in the background and it just makes it look so cool. And then I also put it in my upper cabinets that have these little window panes up there. It just adds detail to a, a rather boring space um, and that's what I love about it. So yeah, that's my pantry. That is that little wrapping paper trick. Like I said, I use double-sided tape. Inside my cabinets in my kitchen, I use painter's tape, and it's literally been up for, for probably a year and a half. Um, so yeah, it's a really great way to just like jazz up like a kid's bedroom or closet. You could add something really fun. It's great in a pantry. Um, and it's forgiving, because if you mess it up or you hate it, it costs you five bucks. So it's not like you broke the bank on wallpaper because wallpaper is expensive. You've done nothing. <gasps> You've done nothing today. What's your problem? Say I'm 10 years old. That's my problem. I'm 10 years old. Ugh. All right, gang, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this vlog up. We've talked about pantries. We've talked about Sephora. We've talked about vitamins. I think we've covered a decent amount today. So I'm going to let you all go and I will leave it like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends.